Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Here on the channel you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving, all of the fibre related things. The last couple of years I have been missing doing a little bit of vlogtober. It's just not possible for me at the moment to post a video every day. But I thought it might be quite fun to do a little nod to vlogtober by taking you along throughout my days for a week. So I'm starting on Saturday and we're going to go through till a Friday. So not quite a video every day. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's been a while since we've done a follow me through my week kind of video. So I hope you enjoy. I'll be sharing kind of where and when I get to fit in my crafting as we go through the week. So it's 6.30 on a Saturday morning and I'm heading out for my walk. It takes me along a beautiful disused railway path that's been turned into a footpath uh, along the cliff tops where I live. I live in South Wales in the UK by the sea and then down to our local beach and the local pier. We were treated to a beautiful sunrise on this day although the forecast was for a mostly cloudy day. It was really nice to get this break in the clouds first thing in the morning so I decided to head out and although it was meant to be quite grey and overcast the weather was relatively warm for an October morning. <laughs> so I decided to take my knitting out with me and spend some time sitting on a lovely little bench on our pier and adding a few rows to one of my current projects. I'm knitting the Dispersion Socks, which is a pattern by um, Roro and Cades and I'm knitting this as part of our Yarn and Yarns scrap make along so I'm just using bits and pieces of opal yarn and some West Yorkshire spinners yarn so it was really nice to take this project out with me it's a simple four row colour work pattern repeat so it's fairly easy to do on the go and I'm actually knitting these for one of my lovely friends Jeanette and I'm a good way into the second sock I'm hoping to have these socks finished by the end of today hopefully <laughs> if not definitely by the end of the weekend this was a really lovely way to start my saturday I stayed long enough to add about eight rows to my sock. By then the sunshine had disappeared behind the bank of clouds and my hands were starting to get a little bit chilly so I decided to pack up and head home. Saturdays are the days where I usually catch up on my housework or the weekends are housework catch up after being out at work for the week but of course I'm not going to bore you by sharing <laughs> me doing my housework. I did a little bit of that and then the sun had miraculously come back out again so I decided to take advantage there's probably not going to be that many sunny warm-ish days left this year to enjoy so I made myself some breakfast and took my dispersion sock outside for a little bit of a knit in the garden of course I couldn't justify sitting out there all morning so <laughs> back inside um, for a little bit of yarn and yarns work actually I'm doing some admin for the website and also a little bit of video editing so while I'm sat waiting for the computer to do its thing I'm continuing to work on the dispersion sock. I'm really happy to say that by about three o'clock in the afternoon I had knit the foot and also part of the toe and I'm already thinking about doing a little bit of spinning this is my current Turkish spindle project. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Sock got finished and of course it's time to give them a soak and a little bit of a block before I send them off to my lovely friend. As tempted as I was to get stuck into my Turkish spindle spin, I decided to actually work on another project that I've been working on 
with my support spindles recently because there's a real good chance I could get this project finished this weekend as well. So having finished the dispersion socks, I was obviously in the mood to try and get some things moved from the works in progress pile into the finished objects pile. I need to wind these off so that I can ply the yarn. I've been asked quite a few times how I approach getting the yarn off my spindles because I ply on my Ashford e-spinner and I tend to just wind them off on my ball winder. I hold the spindles out and use the ball winder to wind off the singles that I've spun into a centre pull ball. I go quite slowly when I'm doing this because depending on how I've wound the singles onto the shafts of my spindles, sometimes things can go awry if I'm trying to approach this at speed. So I've learned in the past just to go slowly and work the singles off of the spindle. So yeah, I just slowly work through my spindles until everything is wound off and I have a box of hand spun yarn cakes ready to ply. I've decided for a change to chain ply this yarn because there were lots of beautiful colours in the original fibre and I want to kind of keep those co colours rather than mix things up by doing a traditional two ply or a traditional three ply. So yeah I've decided for a change to do a chain ply. It's not something I do that often. For this particular spin I thought this would be the perfect way to finish the yarn. Welcome to my Sunday. It is my favourite day of the week. I tend to do as little adulting as possible and I tend to chuck on a jumper over my pyjamas and just have a lazy day if I can. I often start my day at my laptop either watching a video or doing some video editing so that's what I'm doing here. I'm also working on the vanilla sock that I've got on the needles. It's really close to the point where I want to put in some waist yarn for the heel and so I want to get that done if I can so that it becomes easy round and round knitting again. After that gentle start to the day I have come up to the craft attic. I want to choose some new fibre to put onto my sports spindles as I'm plying the yarn that was my current support spindle spin. So I've picked out this beautiful fibre from Wonderful Wool that I picked up in Yarningham and I've grabbed myself a couple of spindles and also the project bag pile there is the projects that I need to take down with me to work on for the rest of the day as well. While I'm up here I have decided to raid one of my project bags that needs emptying. So I did a video for my patrons um, a couple of weeks ago now probably where I went through all of the project bags that I have in my whips pile my works in progress pile and I sorted out a few things that needed frogging um, or emptying for various reasons I've got this project which is a scrappy V that I started a couple of years ago from some yarn that I received in an advent swap from my lovely friend Caroline and I've decided for various reasons that I'm going to frog this project. I do still want to knit a scrappy V, but I'm not 100% happy with the way the one that I started was looking. So I've decided to frog and reuse the yarn. So I thought while I'm up here, I might as well start doing that and clear out the project bag. I'm just gonna work through the project bags that need sorting out over the coming weeks, just do one every now and then when I have time. So for this one, yeah, I need to take my scrappy V off the needles and unwind everything. And then I can soak the re-skeined yarns and put them back into project bags for new knitting. I've decided all of the yarns in this project that I'm going to be unravelling will either end up in either my North Easterly blanket, which is a relatively new cast on that you might not yet have seen on the podcast, but it will feature in my next making roundup. So either the yarns will be going into that or I also have a crochet blanket on the go. 
it didn't take too long to get all of those unwound. I've decided to do rescain them on my small niddy noddy because some of the yarns are very crinkly because they've been sat in the knitted fabric for quite some time so before I reuse them I'm going to pop them in the sink and give them a soak and then they will be ready to repurpose and reuse. Following all of that unravelling I've decided to cast on my second Selby sock so in one of those project bags that you saw on the floor upstairs in the craft attic ready to bring down with me was my Selby sock and yeah I need to cast on the second sock which I am doing here I'm back at the laptop editing video <laughs> while I'm doing this most of my video editing involves me just listening to myself waffle back <laughs> <laughs> and then occasionally chopping bits out and restitching them together so yeah there's quite a lot of knitting time available when I'm doing stuff like that so second sock is going on the needles and I hope to get the toe knit today and maybe the first couple of rows of the colour work and then I will move on to something else this is why I never really get anything done in a very fast manner because I work a little bit on something and then I'm ready to <laughs> switch out and do something else for the next little while so yeah everything just takes me a while but that's just the way I work and it makes me happy so yeah I'm not going to change it <laughs> so amongst all of that cast on and knitting fun it reached lunchtime and James very kindly made me a bacon sandwich <laughs> and then I was able to carry on knitting because that's what Sundays are all about here <laughs> Out of sand, reaching for the grand. This will always align. We lose track of time. Let up high, now we climb. Oh, oh, oh. dreamy, breezy, we go. After I finished the toe in the first view rows of colour work on the cell boo, decided it was time to pick up my Heritage Harbour which is one of the projects that I'm working on during the month of October and the first thing I need to do is pick up the stitches for the neckband. I've got the neckband and the two sleeves left on this sweater so if I could work towards getting the neckband finished today that would be amazing, I'd be really happy with that. We're into early evening now and I have managed to finish the neck band which is brilliant all by the casting off. It calls for a tubular cast off so I'll move on to that another day I think. <laughs> so I think to round out my evening I'm going to do a little bit of spinning. I'd really like to finish the plying on the fibre that I was working on yesterday. I would absolutely love to get that finished today. Yay, finish it I did. I'm getting lots of things ticked off the to, to-do list today, which is amazing. So I shall leave that resting on the bobbin overnight and then I'll probably wind that off tomorrow. So I'll try and remember to share that with you. For the rest of my evening now before I go to bed, I'm going to do a little bit of fibre prep ready for my support spindles. And so I'm going to be stripping down that um, banana blend fibre that I picked out. It's going to be perfect for some sock knitting once the yarn has been spun up. So yeah I'm just going to strip the fibre down so it's in easy to use nests and then if I have any extra time before I go to bed I might start doing a little bit of spindle spinning. I have to be really careful when I start spindle spinning though because I love it so much I just get so lost in it that I could end up staying up way later than I want to and of course tomorrow is Monday I need to get up for work so <laughs> I can't get too carried away
Welcome to my Monday. Today is a head to the office day, so I work part time. I'm out of the house for three days a week and then I work from home doing that job one day a week. I always throw my knitting in my bag, usually something simple. Most days I don't really get an opportunity to do it, but I never leave home without my knitting just in case. And on this particular day, it definitely came in handy because the colleague that I work or worked most quite closely with quit. <laughs> So I was feeling a bit stressed out um, on this day. So usually on my lunch breaks, I will spend my half hour break walking just to stretch my legs and get some fresh air. But yeah, my brain was all over the place and it had been a bit of a morning. So I decided to take myself to my car and calm myself down <laughs> with a little bit of knitting time. So yeah, knitting, never leave home without it. <laughs> After the workday had finished, of course, I head home and first thing on my to-do list this evening is, well, you can see, get in my pyjamas. <laughs> but then I was determined to get all of the yarn that I'd finished playing yesterday wound off onto my nitty noddy so that it could take a bath and start drying so that it can become a finished object. Um, usually I spend a couple of hours in my evenings knitting or spinning or whatever takes my fancy but honestly after the day I'd had I was pretty well exhausted so I did a little bit of spinning on my support spindle and no knitting this Monday evening but that's fine I got in a little bit of crafting time and that can never be a bad thing So Tuesday was another day out at the day job working in the office and so there was nothing to record and share there. When I get home from my day job though I do usually hop on my laptop straight away at home because if you've been following here for a while you know that I also run a small business online, um, Yarn and Yarns, the inspiration for the YouTube channel name. Um, I used to have a physical yarn shop in my hometown but during the pandemic, the landlord sold the building that I was renting. So I now have a small website, um, a lot less stock, but I still try to keep Yarn and Yarns running the best I can between the YouTube channel and the website. <laughs> so yeah, on this day, there were a couple of emails to reply to and some orders to pack. And by the time I'd done that, I was pretty much done in for the day. <laughs> so I decided some simple knitting was in order. So I pulled out a project that I haven't yet worked on this month and it's my let the good times roll sweater if you watch my october making plans you'll know that it's an intarsia sweater and i have the front panel to work on and also the sleeves while i'm working on my cell boo socks the color work socks i've decided to ignore the front panel on the sweater i don't want to do too much sort of color work at once although they're different kinds it requires following a chart and some concentration so i've decided to work on the sleeves for the let the good times roll instead so here i am casting on with some beautiful bright orange yarn and this should be some nice simple knitting to keep me company in the coming days so wednesday was a bit of a strange day because i usually have wednesday off for my day job i work part-time but on this particular Wednesday, I had an all-day training course to attend. So I was up and out of the house earlier than usual. My walk happened at 6am. Then I got home from that walk, cuddled the cat, and it was pretty much time to leave the house. And then I got home later in the evening as well. So yeah, I was pretty exhausted by the end of the day. I'm sure most of you will know what a full day training course can be like. So I settled in for a little bit of knitting, added a few rows to my cell boo sock, but didn't really have a huge amount of concentration for that project. And I was pretty tired all round. So I just got in a little tiny bit of spinning on my current Turkish spindle project. 
I'm spending some Rambouillet fibre on my Turkish spindle. And that was pretty much it for the day. Probably not the best week to end up sharing with you, given all of the stuff that's going on with work this week. But that's part of the fun of sharing these day to day or weekly vlogs is you never know what's going to happen from day to day and how you're going to be able to manage to fit crafting in. And some weeks there's more time than others. So, yeah. So this week, Thursday, is my last working day or my last day job working day of the week. It's also a shorter working day as well, just the way my hours work out. So I decided to work from home rather than drive into the office for just a few hours. So I didn't go out for my walk this morning. I did, in lieu of that, I decided to start my day earlier so I could finish earlier. I got uh, some online training to do today it's a very training heavy week at work but that also means because i'm watching videos and just answering multiple choice questions i can sit and knit <laughs> so i was working on the sleeves for the let the good times roll and i'm working on those concurrently so i've cast on the sleeves on two separate needles and i'm just adding one pattern repeat to each needle before moving on once my day job working day was finished i decided to move on to some yarn and yarns work which mostly involves video editing so i decided to work on another simple project this afternoon and started to add a few rows to my just plain vanilla sock but i didn't want to progress that too much because i want that sock to last me for the rest of the month if i can <laughs> um so that's great out and about knitting so i didn't want to progress that one too much so instead i decided to move on to emptying another one of my project bags so i spent some time rewinding some yarn from one of those project bags and then once the work day was done my evening of course is spent knitting on my selby sock and then i decided to finish off the day with a teeny tiny little amount of spinning on my support spindle project reached Friday which is the last day for this vlog and I happen to have this Friday off from my day job so it's usually a day my day off from my day job is usually a day of catching up with yarn and yarns bits and pieces which means answering emails catching up with video editing all those kind of things posting out orders if I have any don't happen to have any orders today so I am starting my day with catching up with our Ravelry chat threads and of course doing a little bit of knitting on my let the good times roll sleeve which has proven to be the perfect project to keep me company through my work week this week and because it's quite a lovely day today i am taking myself out for a later in the day walk also had an ulterior motive because high tide down at the beach was around lunchtime today and it's been about a week since I've thrown myself into the sea for a dip so I figured I would come down and have a swim you can see someone else has beaten me to it <laughs> there's a couple of other folks in the sea so I didn't record myself actually going in the sea because there were a few people around but, uh, it was beautiful the sea was really clear and you can see amazing clouds in the sky and even some blue sky to enjoy as well so yeah I had a lovely little dip first thing that I do once I get back out of the sea is to put on woolly socks to warm my feet up. <laughs> so yay for hand knitted socks. A bonus of it being later in the day is all of the local shops and cafes down the front by the beach are open. So I was able to treat myself to a lovely warming hot chocolate and a Welsh cake. 
and of course I never leave home without my knitting so I bought my plain vanilla sock down to add a few rows to that too while I warm up with my hot chocolate after my cold dip. I arrived back home to find a fabulous parcel had arrived for me while I was out and I've treated myself to a couple more new spindles. Yes, I know I'm always treating myself to spindles. I can't help it. There are so many lovely, talented spindle makers out there and I use my spindles all the time. So that's my very flimsy justification for spending my money. <laughs> I bought two spindles this time from a spindle maker in Germany. So first off is this beautiful spindle, which is called Sunny, which you can see has got a wood inlay in a sunflower design. The thing that's different about these spindles, which I don't have on any of my other spindles, is the shaft of the spindle is made from carbon fibre. So it'd be interesting to see how that feels in the spinning experience. Uh, so this second design is called Mona and the spindle maker, who I will link below the video, has several different spindles like this on their website in different colours. I can't wait to try those out. And of course, having been handling those spindles inspired me to get going with my support spindle project and I've nearly filled up two spindles now, which is great. Finally, for my week in crafting, I am working on my Heritage Harbour sweater. I've just picked up for the sleeves. I'm only going to be able to work on this for a couple of days because I'm running short of my contrast yarn so I need to put in an order for my contrast yarn. So I'm going to knit as much as I can over the weekend with the yarn that I have and then I will have to take a break from the project for a couple of days until my yarn order comes in. So thank you so much for joining me through my week in crafting my, my little homage to Vlogtober. I'd love to know in the comments below how you fit crafting into your week. Are you someone who gets to spend a fair amount of time at home? Um, or do you, like me, fit your crafting in as and when you can throughout your work week? Let me know what you've been working on, what you've been knitting, what you've been spinning. I love to chat to you in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you will join me for the next one, which of course will be coming up soon. There'll be lots more making content to come. Until we do get to spend time together again, I hope you get to do some other things that you enjoy. Great big woolly hugs to you all. Bye for now. Bye.